What's up, buddy? What's up? What's going on? Come on in. Hey, I'm gonna make some tea real quick. So I have this tea pretty much every day. Ginger tea kind of just helps like keep my stomach at ease, I guess. It really kind of mm -hmm. helps, especially like experiencing like a bunch of nausea lately that I was talking about, which actually has been pretty good over these last couple days. I just drink this and it just makes me feel like, it's just, I just fucking like it, okay? I like it, there's no reason, period, I, just, I just like it. So I just added this collagen right here, collagen peptides, I uh, added 20 grams. I'm adding in the Alpha Dynamics, the mushrooms, uh, a gram of lion's mane, a gram of chaga, a gram of cordyceps in these little packets. It's interesting because lion's mane, my last lion's mane video I put out, it was talking about how lion's mane in some dudes lowers their libido. And, but cordyceps actually does the opposite. And so you can think about it, it has like a gram of each, where if maybe if you're someone who experiences that from lion's mane, where it lowers your sex drive a little bit, if you're one of those small percentage of, of dudes who experiences that, maybe you could try this out because there's a gram of each, it might balance it out. Um, so that's something I wanted to mention. But also a lot of people think like lion's mane and cordyceps is like a stimulant. And like you should take it during the day before a workout when you're gonna work or whatever. It's 8, 12 and I'm gonna have it and I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Matter of fact, it's gonna actually help me sleep. Uh, mushrooms before bed really give you these crazy dreams, which I love. And uh, and yeah, I drink this pretty much every day. Same exact thing. Mix it up. Fill her up. So uh, let's go chat. All right. So what's up? So my last video, I posted it that was helping me process my thoughts to myself a little bit better from watching it and editing it and stuff. And then the comments came in and it was just nothing but overwhelming support. And I was just, I was, I was kind of blown away by that. And reading every single comment, three things popped up. Number one, everyone thought I was like 30 something. Everyone, everyone was really surprised <laughs> that I was 24. That was the first thing. Second thing is that, um, I forgot. <laughs> uh, second thing that I noticed is that a lot of people are experiencing the same thing a lot of people have are right now at some level or have been in the past and have gone gone through it and i thought that was really cool for people to share so openly in the comments which makes me feel like you know people are we're trusting each other here on this page and stuff third thing i noticed was that 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 the support that i actually do have from from my subscribers which is i thank every single one of you because that was awesome and that really helped me feel better. And then the fourth thing I noticed is that um, when I'm reading the comments on the desktop on my computer, YouTube will tell me if the person leaving the comment is subscribed and most of the people aren't subscribed, so subscribe. <laughs> so if you haven't yet, at least hit the button and uh, then we can move forward with this conversation. <laughs> is, that, is that a bad plug to do right now at this deep moment or is it okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm saying it jokingly, but yeah. I'm kind of serious. Subscribe. So more more clearly, yeah. thirty six hours later, like you said, mm -hmm. how how do you feel now exactly after posting it? It feels like if you had a ton of rocks and boulders piled on your shoulder sky high, it feels like a couple of the biggest boulders on that stack got lifted up. Like it really did. Because now talking to you, making that video was kind of the breakthrough point for me realizing and accepting that I had a problem. I'm just going through something that I, that I that will get better eventually. <laughs> uh, the big learning lesson for me that, I've, that I that I definitely wanna share, cause this is a follow up to that video pretty much, is whatever, if anyone's experiencing that, I still am, I'm not fixed, but so far I'm feeling good and these are the things that I've done is do something that helps you process those thoughts. For me, it's talking to a camera. <clears throat> I'm super comfortable talking to a camera and whether it's gonna be posted or not. So for me, post putting the camera up, letting all my thoughts out and recording it and keeping it or deleting it, whatever, helps me process my thoughts. Whatever you can do to get the thoughts from going in here, racing in your mind, giving you these sick feelings, whatever you have to do to get them out, whatever that method is, get them the fuck out, you know? Or doing what we're gonna go do in my bedroom in a second here is hiring a professional and getting some help and hiring a therapist and talking with a therapist. Okay. Are you now ready? Yeah. Oh. So this is not sponsored, right? Mm -hmm. But I've heard really good things about better help 
com. You basically get to schedule calls with them, but you can also message them at any time if you're feeling like going through something. And that's about as far as I know. So I'm going to do it. This is me doing it. Um, please specify a few sentences why you like counseling. So I think we can cut here. I'm gonna take a few minutes to type this out and then we'll pick back up in a second. All right, sounds good. So, (laughs) you got scared up. I really wanna get people to take action if they're feeling down, anxious, anxiety, nervousness, depression in any way. I really wanna get people to take action on that first step. And that first step is gonna be so different for everyone. The first step for me was kind of basically admitting and telling people and opening up about what I've been kind of going through and experiencing over the last couple of years, uh, especially over, over the last few months. But it was the breakthrough moment for me where I realized, oh, I'm not okay. Because sometimes when we're going through these things, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. Anytime my daughter's mom asks me, how are you? I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be fine. I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm fine. What's going on? Right? Next subject. That's how it was for my whole life. So finally saying, I'm not okay right now was the switch moment that went from denying, denying, denying. I'm not. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. To accepting. Oh, I'm. Things are kind of tough right now. Mm-hmm. I've accepted it and I've told people about it. Now that I know it's really there, I've admitted it, I've accepted it, I've opened up about it, that's the hardest part. Now it's just what steps can I take daily now to get me on a better path to who I was before or a better version of that even. And the hardest part is that first step. The hardest part is that first step, doing it. And it's gonna look different for everybody. But once you get through it, it kind of, it's still hard work, but it kind of gets easier or it doesn't get easier, but it seems like you can take on the challenge now because you it's, it's a reality now. Now you've accepted it, right? I mm-hmm. get it. I get it. Now what can I do to get better instead of denying it or holding it in? Let it the fuck out, right? Let yeah. it out. Tell someone, whatever, write it out, whatever you need to do to process your thoughts. And then let's get on a track to make improvements something every day or every week on a week by week basis to just make ourselves feel better over time. Yeah. All right. So you good? Yep. Finish the questionnaire, um, typed out just kind of what I've been experiencing, this and that, gave me some details. So basically now a licensed counselor with the proper qualification will be matched with me. Um, he's going to review he or she, or I picked the sheets. She's going to review the information that I shared and then I can start counseling online after that. Um, and for those who are curious, it's the service is $80 per week, which is $320 a month, which compared to going and seeing a licensed therapist or counselor in real life, like how you usually would a session there for like an hour or whatever is like hundreds of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, which, which I've looked up before local ones, especially here in LA, they're expensive ideally as well we're not paying for these things for years and years and years, right? I feel like at least I'm at a point or maybe some of us are at a point where I could, I I will need help for a few months and then, and then I'm fine. And then I'm back to myself better than my regular self. And I can, I've learned things from them that can help me go about my daily life without the need of paying a therapist. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where it's not a forever bill, right? It's not like car Mm -hmm. insurance you're paying whatever amount of dollars each month forever. It's like for as long as you need it. Oh, you know what? Look at this. I just got a message from Discover. We just declined 300. Do you recognize this transaction? Hey, shout outs to Discover. Yes. Matter of fact, I do recognize this transaction. It's me bettering myself. Thank you very much. And we're done. Counseling, journal. That's kind of cool, journal. I kind of like that. So did they, did they assign you somebody already? It said within 24 hours, they're going to assign me to somebody. Oh, okay. So that's it for today. I know that was a different style of video. 
Um, I'm just experimenting with different styles. I'm just creating content that I just feel like creating and hopefully is bringing some value to you guys. So this just was a follow up to my last video. Um, thank you guys very, very much for your comments and your support. Those of you who did, um, those of you who thumbs it up, those of you who watched it, um, it really, really does, really does help. Uh, just like from like a well-being perspective, but of course it always helps the channel as well. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the button uh, right now if you can, if you want to, if I've earned your subscription. And I appreciate you guys. This was just me kind of documenting, showing that, that and wanting to emphasize that process your thoughts, whatever method that is for you, get those thoughts out of your head, talk it through with somebody, get professional help, whatever that first step is for you, take that first step because it is super, super important. And just me taking that first step and opening up and admitting and realizing and accepting how I feel has helped me tremendously. We're in this together. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget that this is not, anything that you do is not a one-time thing. This is not a one-time thing. Okay, I bought I bought a subscription to BetterHelp. I'm, I'm fine now. No, it's I'm gonna have to talk with them weekly. Probably they're gonna have me journal weekly. They're gonna do, I don't know, fucking exercises for me. I don't know what they're gonna do, but all I know is that I'm gonna have to do it daily or weekly to see some improvement, which is like with anything. So don't make yourself feel bad like I was for a very long time thinking you're not gonna make progress and you're gonna be stuck like this forever because that's what it feels like. It feels like we're gonna be stuck like this forever. But if you just keep moving one step forward at a time, little by little, little win each day, they will get better. And then next thing you know, a year will go by and you're gonna be looking back at your past self like, wow, I can't believe that past me was going through such a hard time and here I am feeling so much better. And that is going to be my reality. That's gonna be your reality. Um, we can kick whatever we're going through is ass and just be an overall better transformed evolved person so that's my little rants um, i appreciate you guys i love you thank you for sticking with me subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video you want to say bye yeah <laughs> almost lost you there bye